and welcome back my fairies. I am Matsiorific and we are back with another Miraculous Ladybug Season 5 promo trailer. This one is supposed to be released by Disney, so that'll be interesting. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a new headset. I am also starting to feel a bit better. I'm still not going to live stream tomorrow because I do have a medical appointment tomorrow. Uh, but we should be able to start getting back on track here soon. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Part five of What If Adrian Had a Twin Sister has been scripted out and I am working on the art. And as a little bonus, I am going to be sprinkling, sprinkling in a little bit of art here and there uh, throughout the video. So keep an eye out for that because it's going to be hidden. You will have to actually watch the video to see all of the artwork if you want to see it so comment down below if you like it and what you think and how excited you are for part five and if you're not sure what i'm talking about i do a series on this channel where i ask the question of what if adrian had a twin sister where i give him a twin sister named adriana agress it's been a lot of fun to work on so far part five will be out very soon. I've just got to finish all the artwork for it. I am aiming for a Saturday release, just like last time. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the trailer uh, for Season 5. This, I believe, is supposed to be released by Disney. I've got an actual headset on today because I want to actually be able to hear audio, even though I'm going to have to mute it for you guys because... YouTube likes to copyright stuff. And I like to have everything uh, on slow, so... Uh, then again, yeah, you know what, never mind. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've got this new headset. I'm hoping this uh, audio quality is going to be uh, good. Uh, just remember, it, it's going to sound weird for me if I play it on half speed. So yeah, just muted. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, uh, big thanks to Cartoon Apocalypse for uploading this trailer for all to see. So let's go ahead and get into this. This looks like it's from the. Okay, that that looks like it. That that looks like a clip from. Uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't remember the name of the of the two-parter right now. Uh, from Strike Back. Uh, uh, for, that looks. Oh, uh, I think technically Risk, but still, uh, Monarch has captured all the mar but two. Yep, Ladybug and Cat Noirs. Okay, that that is definitely from Multiplication. Uh, yep, because there's Ikari Gozen. And then we get this look of Monarch's new design. I can't get a good screen cap of that. Uh, let's see if I can switch that to quarter speed so I can get a good uh, freeze frame on that. Yeah, it's blurry. Uh, this is really as high as it gets. Yeah, that's the highest quality it gets. But yeah, get another uh, image of Monarch. Uh, interesting choice with the buttons there. Not sure what those buttons are for. Uh, and then we get oh, more, the Kwamis in the back again. Still can't really see them very well because it's, uh, it's blurry. Switch this back to half speed. Rewrite history. Okay, that's again with. So yes, still haven't really seen anything new there. Uh, this is uh, this is again multiplication. It's the very start of it where they're telling off Suhan. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is the museum curator. Uh, guys on Twitter were right. Uh, I was wrong. This is a mu the museum curator. We have seen her before. We got to see her in Puppeteer Two still cringing about that episode uh but yeah and then and then we get dark owl who is back and we see him reaching oh okay so it looks like ladybug was actually frozen there they're both frozen so they're both being sh okay so yeah it does look like he's got the power of jubilation the pig's power uh and he's showing them uh their their greatest desires so that he could distract them to get their miraculous it looks like uh, this is, uh, again, going to be Evolution, uh, them in the burrow, uh, and then that looks like a new clip. I don't think we've seen Cat Noir sliding under that car there. This is obviously going to be Kwame's Choice. We know Kwame's Choice is the Miraculous Swap episode. I'm still bummed that we're not going to get to uh, see them transform. This might also be from Kwame's Choice. Uh, 
So that's obviously Scarabella, so... Uh, and we get another cat holder. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so... Uh, we do know uh, that uh, Kwame's choice, uh, the Kwame's, you know, Tiki and Plague are going to take Marinette and Adrian's against Miraculous and give them to new holders. Uh, so we get Scarabella here and then another cat holder. Uh, it looks like they did make sure not to give the cat Miraculous to Nino because there was a clip released where uh, they were considering giving it to Nino. I think I did see some speculation on Twitter because I did have to postpone this because I was still not feeling that great. I'm feeling a bit better but I, than I was yesterday, but yesterday I wasn't feeling too good either and I saw some spoilers on Twitter. Thank you, Twitter. Uh, but I got off after that. But uh, I do remember seeing somebody saying that uh, they heard somebody speculating that this might be Zoe, which would be interesting. Uh, you know, the, the short blonde hair, I could see that. Although it looks like it's got that green tint to it. Come on, guys. Stop tinting the hair green. Cat Noir's hair isn't green. I get why they did it for Catwalker, because he's trying to hide the fact that he's Cat Noir. But Zoe, or whoever it is that's using that Miraculous, that does, I think that might actually be Zoe. The hair length is good. Uh... There's no way this is Rose. She's way too tall to be Rose. This, the fact that she's wearing sneakers is also a good uh, hint that this might actually be Zoe. So, Alia and Zoe as the new Ladybug in Cat Noir. I mean, we know that Alia's name is Ladybug is Scarabella, but we don't know this cat's identity. Oh my gosh. I swear, they better not name her Kitty Noir. Because I cannot post the Ask Kitty Noir comics that I make on Reddit as Ask Kitty Noir because apparently that's a spoiler. And I was thinking that maybe it was just, oh, you know, Bunnix calls Cat Noir Kitty Noir. So maybe that's why they're considering it a spoiler. Please don't let her be named Kitty Noir because I did it first. Do not steal from me, please. <laughs> I mean, that would still be kind of interesting. Be like, oh yeah, her name's Kitty Noir. Like, guys, come on. I called her Kitty Noir because I didn't want the name to be too different from Cat Noir. Scarabella is Scarabella because it's di she's different from Ladybug. I called male Ladybug Monsieur Bug because Monsieur is a masculine version of Lady. So Monsieur Bug, Ladybug, Scarabella is different. So yeah, leave it at Scarabella. Please don't call her Kitty Noir, please. I just have one request. I know this is a me thing, but please don't call her Kitty Noir. I have this one thing. Don't take it away from me. Anyways, uh, it looks like they're fighting that villain that we saw in the last trailer that had the giant bee that was like a cross between Billy Billions and Garnet. I'm still not going to get up, going to let that go. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then we get this shot of them telling off Master Suhan again. This shot we've seen multiple times. That's the curator. Uh, and then we see them running on the roof. Okay, this this confirms that that is Natalie. Because that is in the room. I saw a lot of people on Twitter were also uh, saying this was Natalie. It makes sense for this to be Natalie on a visual aspect. But also, why? Why is it Natalie? Why would Natalie... Why would Natalie Sancourt, the woman who told Gabriel, you don't deserve my help, you don't deserve anybody's help or done, why would she allow herself to get akumatized? I do think this is going to be the same episode where we see Natalie and Adrian hug, because uh, you know, uh, it does make sense for her to be leaving soon. So I'm just not sure. I, I can't see why she would allow herself to get akumatized. Also, uh, I did see some stuff on Twitter, people talking about uh, the, the fact that there was a Cat Noir picture on her uh, phone, on her wrist there, uh, talking about how it seemed, seemed like she was having those homing missiles. Uh, so it's kind of like, oh, and that's probably why uh, in that first trailer that we got, we saw Cat Noir cataclysming a yellow laser that does match up with what we saw her shooting out. 
Uh, so we saw him protecting Ladybug and cataclysming that laser. And then in the last trailer, we saw the image of, uh, of him detransforming while holding Ladybug in his arms. And she looked kind of stiff. That was something that I did notice, but I didn't really say anything about. And other people were noticing that as well. Somebody left a comment on one of Aiden's videos about how, uh, she about how she seemed like she was frozen and that was when i was like yeah you know that would explain why she looks really stiff why her legs are sticking out in such a weird way and why it's why it seems to be okay for him to detransform in front of her because she's frozen so she can't see anything plus she's got her hands in front of her eyes too so uh she wouldn't be able to see anyways even if she could still see while she's frozen like that so uh yeah, so it seems like she's like her power. She's she's probably going to get the venom power from the Bee Miraculous, so that she can paralyze them. But it looks like she's going to be shooting it out with this crossbow here. So she'll be so be shooting the venom lasers out of her crossbow, and she'll hit Ladybug, and then he's got to try and fight and fight this villain without Ladybug. That's going to be interesting. So, I'm sure TBC will be really happy about that, because we'll get to see Cat Noir taking down a villain by himself. That will be very interesting. Uh, and then we get this shot from Evolution, another shot from Evolution where she gives him the Rabbit Miraculous, and... Wait. There's no way that's it. There's no way that's it. Okay, it's just repeating. Oh, okay. He's talk. Aiden's talking about it. Okay, so we don't need to watch that part because that's Aiden's video. Uh, go watch. Go watch Cartoon Apocalypse's video. I'm sure it's great. I just haven't watched it yet on my end because I didn't want to be spoiled. <laughs> uh, I like coming to you guys spoiler free. Obviously, that didn't quite happen the way I wanted to, but hey, you know, I did the best I could. Uh, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting seeing what episode that is. Let's get back to Natalie there. I'm also noticing this. I see two little symbols right here, uh, which looks to be yellow and orange. This kind of looks like the Fox Miraculous symbol. So is she getting two powers? Is she getting the power of the bee and the fox? Uh, and that doesn't seem to be a ring either, because her hand is over here. There's no way her hand stretched out. So does she have, like, multiple rings? Does she have, like, all these different powers? Because that would be interesting. She's wearing a regular ring. But it looks like she's got this ammo uh, belt along her chest here. And I'm seeing more symbols here. So it's very possible that uh, this could be the other Miraculous as well. Uh, so... This is purple, so I'm assuming that's supposed to be the Tiger Miraculous. Uh, and this is red, so that's probably the Dragon. And I can't really see anything past that. But uh, at the very least, it looks like she's going to have five different powers. And that's going to be interesting. And the fact that she's going to have the Fox Miraculous means she can create illusions. She is going to be very dangerous. Like, it is pretty obvious at this point that she is the brains of the outfit. So Gabriel is going to be in a lot of trouble without her around. So her being as smart as she is and going out there to be like, I'm going to do this myself, that's actually going to be kind of scary because she is smart. Like, if you read my fanfiction, uh, Miraculous Tales of Love and War, she was the one who figured out that Marinette was Ladybug. And I did that because she's the one with the brains. Gabriel, yes, he does come up with some good plans from time to time, but more often than not, Natalie's the plan maker. Natalie's the one that's like, hey, do this, and then it almost works. Like, I think Gabriel's had one good plan that he's come up with by himself, and that was the whole risk and strike back thing. That was a really good plan. If it wasn't for Felix, then his plan probably would have succeeded. And although, t if it wasn't for Felix, he wouldn't have all the miraculous right now. Uh, but uh, this is actually going to be kind of scary to see what she can do with the power of five miraculous and Akuma powers as well. 
Uh, so that's gonna be interesting. She's wearing a ring, but she doesn't seem to be getting any power to it like the other villains are. So that's gonna be interesting. We saw in another shot somebody actually getting the power to the ring. I think it was Lila. Uh, although, I think this outfit actually matches with the... Well, no, I think we did actually see Lila's out Lila Kumita's last trailer, but... Yeah, I'm a little worried about Natalie here. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for Season 5 of Miraculous? It looks like these are going to be the two upcoming episodes, because uh, this is supposed to be the Disney trailer, and Disney is going to be releasing the dubbed episodes for 1 through 4 uh, over the next month. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm so glad we finally got season three done, or like episode three, season three is long ago. I'm so glad we finally got episode three done because there are so many other episodes that are done after that. It's like we could finally actually start getting into this season and I'm so excited. I need to produce more artwork for those videos, but I do have some artwork, uh, some art videos uh, saved up, ready to go, so... I've got a series that I want to do, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of that. <laughs> I've only got one so far. Uh, but uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this trailer. If you have anything, any thoughts about anything that I missed. And uh, subscribe if you <laughs> want to see more. I'm, I know, I'm a rambler. If I don't script things out, I ramble. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos from me. We do all sorts of fun stuff on this trailer, including playing video games, we do art, and also sometimes talk about cartoons and anime. So if you enjoy this stuff, then be sure to ring that bell icon to never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you all have a very magical day.